Welcome to BizWire. I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. Late last week, China and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, agreed to further negotiations to expand their free trade area and, importantly, to set up a mechanism to peacefully resolve territorial disputes. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said the group agreed to accelerate regional economic integration, further open markets to each other, and advance trade and investment liberalization. The ASEAN Free Trade Area, or FTA, was established in January 2010 and is the biggest among emerging economies. China trade with ASEAN members topped $400 billion last year, growing more than 600 percent in just a decade. China's Premier Li Keqiang said in a meeting with the ASEAN foreign ministers that the development of China-ASEAN relations has increased prosperity and stability in the region. Foreign Minister Wang Yi offered four proposals for the region to integrate ASEAN's trade and financial frameworks with that of China. Wang advocated a free trade system based on RCEP, or Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. Wang would like an Asian currency stability system to offer protection against market swings like what happened 16 years ago with the Asian financial crisis. China also proposed an investment and financing cooperation system, as well as an Asian credit rating system that would be based on the Asian bond market. A more comprehensive trade agreement between China and ASEAN is seen as a counter to the American-led Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP, but Wang says he hopes all free trade agreements can complement each other. Former Chinese ambassador to Thailand, Singapore and Nepal, Zhang Jiuhuan, said that upgrading the China-ASEAN free trade zone is complicated, especially in terms of political trust. At the meeting, the foreign ministers agreed to consider setting up a platform for cross-border investment and financing to provide support for connectivity projects. They also agreed to make better use of the China-ASEAN Maritime Cooperation Fund. The meeting also discussed what have been bitter disputes between China and several ASEAN members over territory in the South China Sea. In two weeks, the sides will meet again in China's Suzhou to establish a code of conduct for handling border disputes so they don't escalate. China's foreign minister said there will be no development without peace and all sides will do better with increased communication and coordination. The South China Sea is home to disputes between several countries over fishing rights and natural gas. The China National Offshore Oil Corporation, or CNUC, estimates the South China Sea may hold about five times more undiscovered natural gas than the country's current proved reserves. In the meeting, the foreign ministers also agreed to further conduct exchanges and dialogues on security and defense, promote to establish a new regional security concept featuring common security and cooperation. They agreed to strengthen non-traditional security cooperation, such as disaster prevention and relief and fight transnational crimes. You're watching BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network. All of our stories can be seen on our website, bon.tv backslash biz dash wire. In just a second, we'll continue with more insight into the big picture of China's economy.